ignore the dead plant. It's a representation of my channel. Whoa, hey. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. You may have noticed I've had a bit of a rebrand. Yes, I am no longer called Lily Hill. Well, I am, that's my name. The channel is now called Bookish Adventures and I just thought it was more fitting and it shows that I'm booked to channel and not just me. I'm sorry that I took an impromptu break life. So today's video will be the books that I have read over the past sort of month. It's ranging from the end of June to about now. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first book that I read was Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Groudon. This book may be my top in my top five favourite books of all time. It is amazing. So this book takes place in which a world where the Nazis won the war and each year to commemorate their victory, Hitler holds a motorcycle race called the Axis Tour in which the winner will win a chance to meet Hitler. The book follows a girl called Yale who is a death camp survivor and she is part of the resistance and she is set on a task to take part in the Axis tour and basically assassinate Hitler. Since leaving the death camp, Yale has the ability to skin shift, which allows her to impersonate last year's and on the only girl in the race. Since Adele won the race last year, she already has a advantage with Hitler. Hitler knows her, he already asked her to dance. So Yale has a way into Hitler. This book brought out so many emotions and I gave it five stars. I loved all the characters, especially Yale. She is such a strong, powerful main character and I don't think I could have asked for a better main character. Like sometimes the main characters get on my nerves, but not Yale. She, oh, if I could be Yale, actually no, I don't want to be Yale. <laughs> I take that back. Um, and I also love Luca. Luca has my heart. This book also features a dual timeline which I really enjoyed because it allowed us to see Yale's time in the death camp and how horrible it was and also her time whilst in the race and I just thought it was really interesting. The next book that I have is All Your Twisted Secrets by Diana Urban. This book is about a group of high school students who get invited to a scholarship dinner but once they arrive they learn that it's a trap. Someone has locked the door and there's a bomb and there is also a syringe full of poison and there's also a note. The note reads that they must pick someone to take the poison or all of them will die and the bomb will go off and it will explode. The group dynamic kind of reminded me of the Breakfast Club um, because there's like students from all different aspects of the school. Although we only hear from Amber's point of view, um, we still get to learn each of the characters' stories and what led them to be there in our room at that time and I really enjoyed it. I felt like Amber was she kind of annoyed me um i'm not sure what it was about her she just really annoyed me and she was kind of like the goody goody and i was like amber just shut up <laughs> i gave this book 3.5 stars i did really enjoy it i liked the pacing of it the pacing was really good they also featured a dual timeline so we heard about like obviously each character's individual story and then we heard the more panicking in the room as they tried to choose who they were going to kill but I did feel that the ending was a bit flat and a bit out of character so that is why I gave it 3.5 stars. The next book that I have is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. This book follows the Queen of Hearts before she became the Queen of Hearts and what led her to becoming ruthless off with his head. So this book shows us how the King of Hearts has chosen Kath, our main character, to become his queen. However, Kath has other ideas. She doesn't like the idea of royalty. She wants to open her own bakery with her best friend as she loves to bake. And she also happens to have fallen in love with the King's Joker, Jest. 
let me tell you I also fell in love with Jest. I want a Jest of my own. So obviously her parents are wanting her to marry the king because they want her to fall into the line of royalty but Kath doesn't want that. She, like I said she wants to open her own bakery and she doesn't like the idea of being in the public eye all the time. So she needs to decide whether she wants to make her parents happy or live out her own destiny and I think we can all guess how this book ends. Uh, <laughs> if you know the story of Alice in Wonderland. I gave this book 3.5 stars again um so it was kind of the opposite for me for Real Twisted Secrets. I did really enjoy this. I think it was just a bit drawn out. I think it could have been a lot shorter. It was close to 500 pages. Oh okay it's 450 pages but I feel like the middle was very drawn out and it went it was quite slow at times but other than that I really enjoyed the story. I really like finding out the villain origin stories. I think that those are some of my favourite retellings and yeah. So the next book that I have is again another five star read and it is One Last Stop by Katie McQuiston. I absolutely adored Red, White and Royal Blue. It is right there. I think Red, White and Royal Blue is one of my all-time favourite books and this book certainly lived up to my expectations. Maybe loved it even more than Red, White and Royal Blue. Just saying. So this book is a sapphic romance and it also features time travel. What the heck? Yes please. This book we follow August who has recently moved to New York to finish her degree and on her daily commute she finds that she has a subway crush on this punk rocker butch girl called Jane. However Jane is no ordinary commuter, she is actually from the 70s and she can't leave the subway. So August tries to make it her mission to help Jane get back to her timeline whilst also trying to keep her feelings at bay for Jane. And oh my god, it is just everything that I wanted and more. It is amazing. I loved how diverse all of the characters were. There were so many religions, sexualities, genders. And we also got to learn a lot more about the New York drag scene, which I really enjoyed. I really liked that section of the book. Um, yeah, I <laughs> loved it so much. Also, one thing that... I well there's many things that I loved about this book but one of them is that August has a bigger body but it's not like it doesn't focus on that like it doesn't make it her personality as some books might like it's very body positive and I really like that in this book so everyone if you haven't already or if you haven't even heard of this book please please go pick it up because it is amazing and I want to read it again. So the next book that I have is B Blood for Blood by Ryan Gladden. Again, this is the sequel to Wolf by Wolf, so I'm not going to go too much into this because I don't want to give spoilers, but the first book does leave it on quite a big cliffhanger and I knew I needed to read this book ASAP. I Think, I think I like this book even more than the first book which was surprising because I adored the first book. This book gave me a lot of emotions. I cried quite a bit. I kind of guessed that something bad was going to happen um, but when it happened it still shook me to my core. In this book we get a lot more perspectives. We get we not only get Eel's perspective we also get uh, Luca's perspective and then we also get Felix who is Adele's older brother who was in the race in the last book we get his perspective and then we also get the perspective of some of the resistance which I really liked I liked seeing how Yale's um, decisions affected them back home and it was so good and I love Luca with my entire heart I think he could be a new book boyfriend and I am emotional. <laughs> the next book that I read was Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I loved this book. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo is actually my favourite book of all time so I knew that I had to pick this book up. I did listen to the audiobook for most of this which 
I highly recommend because it is a full cast recording and this book is in I don't know if you can see it's in like interview form so we get to hear from each of I haven't even told you what the <laughs> I haven't even told you what the plot is so basically we follow a 1970s rock and roll band called The Six and their late lead singer Daisy Jones who joins the band. I cannot describe to you how good this book made me feel. Like I said, the if you're going to read this, I highly recommend listening to the audiobook as well because you cannot tell me this isn't a real band. Like even in the back, we have the lyrics to all the songs that are mentioned in the book. Look at this, you cannot tell me this isn't a real band. I sobbed over this band like it was a real one. My emotions were so high reading this. <sighs> if you can't tell, I love this book, of course. I gave it 4.5 stars. Why did I give it 4.5 stars and not 5 stars? I mean, I'm going to have to change that. After after dwelling on it for a bit, I think I'm going to have to give it 5 stars because I keep going back and thinking about it, so screw my rating this is a five star read so obviously in the 70s rock and roll was it was very out there this is filled with all the highs and lows of being in one of the biggest bands in the world during the 70s the characters were all beautifully written they were also very flawed which i think just made me love it even more because sometimes when the characters are too perfect you're like oh come on you gotta you gotta mess up sometimes so i love this also karen karen i love her i would die for her i i just i can't believe this isn't a real band i want them to be real also they're turning this into a tv show i believe and sam kathleen is going to play billy and my heart cannot take it. I am so excited for it. Please, I am so excited I need the TV show now because I think this is gonna be a comfort read for me. I think I'm gonna have to keep on going back to this because I love it. So these are all the books that I have currently read over the like, past month. Um, as you can tell, it's been quite a good reading month. I've got quite a few five stars in there. Um, I'm currently reading the box in the woods, as you can see the this jacket is up here um this is the fourth installment in the truly devious series although it's not part of the actual series this is like a spin-off book and i absolutely love it so far i've i'm about halfway through and loving it so far so i will have an update for you soon so there we have it i hope you have all enjoyed this video if you have give it a big old thumbs up and leave a comment down below of the recent reads you have recently read that didn't make any sense but you know what i mean i will see you all very soon with another video bye